Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to say about hot air oven. Hot air oven is the most widely used method of sterilization by dry heat. A holding period of 160 degrees Celsius for one hour is used. It is used to sterilize glass vase, forceps, scissors, scalpels, glass syringes, dusting powder, liquid paraffin, etc. Let's see some more important points about hot air oven. Glass vase and other materials should be perfectly dry before placed in the oven. Test tubes, flasks, etc. should be wrapped in craft paper. Rubber materials except silicone rubber will not stand the temperature. The materials should be arranged in a manner which allows free circulation of air in between the objects. And the oven must be allowed to cool before the door is opened because the glass vase may get cracked by sudden or uneven cooling. Finally, we are going to say the commonly used temperature and time that hot air oven needs to sterilize materials. For laboratory glass vase, a holding time of 2 hours at a temperature of 160 degrees Celsius is sufficient for sterilization. For ophthalmic surgery cutting instruments, a sterilizing time of 2 hours at 150 degrees Celsius is recommended. For oils, glycerol and dusting powder, a holding time of 1 hour at 150 degrees Celsius is recommended. And we should note one point here. That is, at 180 degrees Celsius, cotton wool plaques may get charred. Next, we are going to see the advantages of dry heat sterilization. Dry heat sterilization is non-toxic and harmless to the environment. It is non-corrosive for metal and sharp instruments. Next, we are going to see the disadvantages of dry heat sterilization. First one is the slow rate of heat penetration and microbial killing. It is a time-consuming process. The high temperature are not suitable for most materials. That is, it cannot be used for sterilization of fabrics, plastics or rubber wrap. The killing effect of dry heat is due to protein denaturation, oxidative damage and the toxic effect of elevated levels of electrolytes. I am concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.